In this video we'll be looking at the first energization tests of this DC rectifier unit. The unit comprises five modular DC rectifier modules, each of which will charge two battery banks. First we have to de-isolate the temporary supply and check the incoming voltage is within tolerance. Once we're happy the supply is okay, we move on to energizing the first of the rectifier units. We close breaker number five and switch on the top bank. This one will become the master for the system. It will communicate with the other four modules and set them as slaves. The flashing LED lights indicate the self-checking system is underway. And once it is complete, the green light will come on permanently. We can step through the display options. We look at current, voltage, temperature, power, etc. We want to do a quick check to see what the voltage is. As there's no batteries, we expect the voltage to be higher than the 110 volt on the system. And at the moment, the float voltage is about 123 volts. All the other modules haven't got their three phase supplies on yet, but have been given an address by the master unit front panel hasn't been switched on so to give us some visualization of what's going on we close the breaker the DC to DC power supply has previously been checked to make sure it's the right output and this then energizes the front panel which loads up the software automatically and runs a self-check the bus bar voltage is measured and we await for it to display 122.7 volts on the float. We can perform a reset to see what alarms are on the system at the moment. We have earth fault and battery fuse trip. The earth fault module on the top center has not been switched on yet, so we energize that up. As it's a DC system, there's no direct connection to earth, so that module detects the impedance of each of the positive and the negative cables down to the earth. That alarm can now be reset. We then move on to the next module down, close the three phase supply and switch on the module. This conducts the normal self check and once it's happy, the green light comes on Again, we can toggle through to just check the settings on the output voltage. And we close up the next three phase breaker, power the next module. Moving on to module number four. And finally, module number five. All the modules were communicating correctly and all powered up without any problems. We then moved on to look at the front display to see what alarms we have. We have a battery symmetry failure and a battery fuse tripped error at the moment. The front display gives us options to look at parameters as well as settings. We can also check event logs and we can also check the input status of the IO cards and force the output relays under this test function. This is the LED test of the front panel. We can select relays and there's eight relays on this system. By pressing the button again, it actually closes the relay we selected for a determinate amount of time, about 15 seconds. 
and one of the relays closes on these IO cards. This will enable us to force each of the outputs which are wired into the DCS system to check that we have the correct wiring and the correct alarms coming up. We can have a look at the status of the digital inputs. At the moment, the main panel fuses aren't tripped. The earth fault isn't active. We have a battery fuse tripped issue and a battery symmetry problem. We haven't got the connection on the batteries at the moment. So we know that the battery symmetry is a spurious alarm that we'll look at in the future, but there shouldn't be a problem with this battery box. So we remove the cover, remove the fuses and check the striker pins on the fuses and the contacts. We found there was a cable off on one of the detectors to so replace that could then be cleared. This is as far as we can go at the moment without the batteries connected. We're just waiting for mechanical completion from installations. So for now, we shut each module down sequentially, isolate all the internal supplies, and close up the panel, waiting for the next stage of commissioning.